Hello. Welcome to Stampin' All Day with Bev. It's Sunday. It is my Sunday Night Live. Welcome, everybody. I hope you're having a great Memorial Day weekend. There's been a lot of graduations going on and people busy all over the place. So if you're not here today, I completely understand. Hopefully you can watch the replay when you have some time. Hey, Sherry. Hi, honey. How are you? So today we celebrated my two nieces' um, graduations. Amanda Taylor graduated from eighth grade and she'll be a freshman at Tracy High this coming season, school year. Hi, Florence. And uh, then Katie, her name's Kathleen actually, but we call her Katie. Uh, she graduated from high school and she'll be going to Kansas off to college in August. Oh my gosh, it's just unbelievable how fast our children grow up, isn't it? So we were there today. Mom was able to go with us. She sleeps a lot, but today it was a miracle. She was up early. She took a short nap. She woke up in time for the party. So it was just a great day. Everybody enjoyed seeing her. We have one more minute before I'm going to get started. So I'm just going to tell you about my week yesterday went shopping and out to dinner with my daughter. Hi, Donna. And that was a great day. And tomorrow we might do some more um, shopping. We've got some remodeling going on here. And so we're, we're trying to do our vision board and uh, getting a bunch of samples and things set up for um, to pick out our final finals. So that's it's kind of stressful too. Hey, Roz. All right, it's seven o'clock. So I'm going to get started today with today's... Um, today's live. So, hi Louise. So I was telling you guys earlier that I um, wanted to give out more prizes, right? And so um, I did, I do go through all the comments always. I look for a few things. One, to see if you're asking me any questions. I don't want to um, not see those and not answer you. So I go through uh, looking for questions and then answering you um, as soon as I possibly can. I, I miss them live a lot, so <laughs> go back and look there. And you know, both you on Facebook and you on YouTube have just touched my heart and made me feel so good about my little business here that I have on teaching stamping. And the comments have been phenomenal and I really, really do appreciate that. So one of the prizes I wanted to give out, a reason I wanted to give out a prize for was comments. And so I read through them and read through them and honestly, it was just hard to pick. But then I read this one and I'm gonna read it to you. And it just, she just, I don't know, she just touched me. I, I think it's because I really, really, hi Debbie. I really, really want to teach you something while you're here. And I want you, if you enjoy this hobby, that um, you, you get the most out of it. So I was reading the comments and the winner is Lori Mantovi. Lori uh, was on YouTube, like I said, and um, she, just, she just left it a message after watching the replay. I'm gonna read it to you. Lori said, you are talented and I enjoy each card you make. Now I'm not trying to pat myself on the back or blow my own horn or anything. I'm just reading what she said and I thought that was very, very nice um, of her to say. And then she said this, your demeanor when explaining techniques is so relaxing and enjoyable. Thank you for sharing with us. That meant the world to me, it really did. That is what I'm here for, to teach. And if I can teach you this craft and you can relax through it and you can enjoy yourself here, I have met my goals. I have met my goals. So Lori, thank you so much for saying those wonderful things. Hi, Bev. Hi, Courtney. Hi, honey. Nice to see you on here. So Lori, um, I'm going to send you these... Um, gold adhesive back swirls. All I need is your address though. So after this live, oh, thanks Sherry. After this live, Lori, I'm gonna go back into YouTube and I'm gonna comment to your comment telling you that you won so you will know to send me your address, okay? Because I can't send you the prize if I don't know where to send it. 
So thank you so much, Lori. You literally made my day. And I kept reading comments. I didn't select her right away. And I just kept going back to that. So um, Lori, you are the winner. Okay, I'm gonna turn you down now and we're gonna get started with today's live. All right, today's project, I should say. Hey, Mary. Okay, there we go. Here we go. So here is just my little housekeeping for those who are new. I want you to know my full name, Beverly Morales, and that I live in Tracy, California. Carol Magnus, first time live from Chapman, Ohio, uh, Ontario, Canada. I am so glad that you're live, Carol. Welcome all the way from Canada. You know, I have a grandson who just moved to Michigan, so he was going to go to Canada this weekend, I think. So um, I don't know how close you are to him, but he's going to go there for the first time in his life. And I'm so excited. I love Canada. It's a beautiful country. Um, I want to let you know what my host code is for May. Back to my housekeeping. If you do not already have a demonstrator and you would like me to be your creative coach and you would like to place orders with me, you can use this host code when you place the order. And I would appreciate that so much. If your order, though, is $150 or above, that's called a workshop. And so Stampin' Up! gives you $15 free for $150 in sales. So don't use this host code because you will be getting the gifts from Stampin' Up! As your order goes up in value, then they give you more. You're having connection problems. Uh-oh, is everybody else okay? We'll have to watch the replay. Hey, Sandy. So that is my hostess code for me. You can shop with me at beverlystamps.stampinup.net 24-7. Whenever your heart desires, just go there and you can stamp or order from me. And if you would like to share my information with anybody that doesn't have Facebook, tell them that they can go to YouTube. Thanks, Carol. Okay, thanks, Florence. Everybody else is okay. Good. Um, you can go to YouTube and my channel is just my name and I have Stampin' Up! behind that, but I've noticed that you just punch in my name, capital or not capital, and I will pop up. Okay. If you order from me, I'm going to send you electronically what's called a rewards form. If you do not have one and you have ordered from me, please let me know so I can get yours to you. This is just a little sample of what the rewards form looks like and how to fill it out. But if you have any questions, I try to explain it very clearly down here, but you can get a hold of me anytime and we'll um, get you started on your rewards form. Okay, here is the prize for May. So if you do order from me, your name automatically goes into a drawing and this month you could win these cute in color treat bags. So. Um, if you've already ordered from me, thank you very much. And your name is going to go into that drawing. This is the card that I made at my last live. And I do have a winner. Let me tell you who she is. Hey, Annie. Yvonne Jonker. Now, the, the UT there means YouTube. Um, I put that on there because I need to look back and let her know that she won. Um, YouTubers are asking me, how do I know that I won? Um, well, one, you can watch the the replay of tonight and you'll see that you won for last week. Or I'm going to I'm going to send you a comment underneath your comment, Yvonne, and um, or any YouTuber, and you'll know that you won the, the card. Then all you have to do is send me your address and I will mail this off to you lickety split. Okay? All right, the other thing you guys have told me that you like to, to hear on my lives is what I love in the catalog. So I'm doing that a little bit at a time. Page 48, I absolutely love Bird's Eye View stamp set. I think it's absolutely adorable. The little glasses on the birds are so cute. And so I want to get this stamp set as soon as I can. I will be getting that one. But today we are going to be working with this stamp set. It's called Beautiful Balloons. I couldn't wait to get this one. I got this with my first uh, order. It's on page 15 of the current catalog. 
I couldn't wait to get this one because like today, for instance, I had two graduation cards I had to make for my nieces and I wanted a good, good birthday set. And I wanted a, a set that I could use for any reason when somebody needed to be congratulated for something they've done. So this one I think fits that uh, category. And so I got the whole bundle and I just love it so much. I've already played with this paper before, but I got that too. Okay, so that's on page 15. Then you guys told me, Bev, before you get started, hi Wanda, hi Roz, we want to see what you it is you actually made. So I'm trying to do all the things you've asked, and so here is the card that I made. Let me roll up my sleeves, because I'm getting serious here now, and I'm gonna get stamping. What do you think of this celebration card? This one I did make into a birthday card, but I can see it in any color whatsoever. Blue for boys, pink for girls, yellow, lavender, your friend's favorite color. Oh, thank you for the hearts. I just think it is such a pretty card. I love mixing metals. When I say that, that means gold and silver. Oh, it's okay, Deborah, that you're a little late. I'm just glad you're here. I love that. In fact, in my in my remodeling that I'm doing, I'm doing the mixed metals there too. So, and I do that with my jewelry. I have silver and I have gold. So, I threw that in here with this card too. And I just hi Olive, and I just think it's adorable. I think this is a very festive card. I remember when I went through thanks Sandy the catalog with you. I told you that one of the reasons I wanted this set is because I love the fringe that this die makes. And look at that. It's adorable. And I have another little sample of this fringe that I'm gonna show you in a minute. And then um, at the end of this live, hey Cheryl, I'm gonna show you the card that I'm gonna be making using this set, not that I'm going to be making, that you're going to be making if you come to open house this Thursday, June 1st from 1 to 6. Okay, so let me show you the inside. I feel like I've been talking a lot. It's just a happy birthday with some little sequence and, and flyer, just some confetti flying around, and then a strip of the uh, paper. The glimmer paper is what I call it. But here it is. This is not the one in the catalog. I'm going to point this out to you. The one in the catalog is on page 127. It's called More Dazzle. This one was called Be Dazzling. This one was a celebration item a while back. So I loved it so much, I got multiple packs of it. And when I saw it in the catalog now that we can order it again, I was so happy because look at this. Look what it does to your work. So these are six by six. Here is the code if you want to order that paper. It's 161749. And it has two colors in the pack. Hey, Rosemary, champagne and gold. Now, I think this, I think, since I don't have the new pack, that this is the champagne. But I'm not positive. But I love it. So those of you that have this from the Celebration Rewards, you're going to be able to use it on the fringe like this as well as other uh, ways. Okay, so what is the color I used? It's a new color. It's in the bold set. It's called Azure Afternoon. Another blue. Another blue that is so festive and nice. I really, really like that. Then I used... Um, the Tahitian Tide Baker's Twine right here in this pack. It's on page 144. Hi, Susan. And I'm going to emboss with some gold. You saw that when I showed you the card. Okay. So here is my card base, the Azure. Azure sounds so, <laughs> I don't know, French. Uh, afternoon. I'm going to fold that in half to make my card base. We also need some white we also need white, uh, basic white cardstock. We need that for the lining of the inside of the card and we need it to stamp on. A basic tool is your bone folder. 
So if you're new to this craft, you will want to write down um, on your wish list a bone folder. And the item number is 102300. Okay, so there's the base folded and done. I've already got the white liner cut. And that is the regular size four by five and a quarter. I think I'm gonna start there. I'm gonna open up the card so you can see what I'm doing. Hey, Karen Kirshner, how are you? Um, I'm gonna use the happy birthday that comes in the set and the Azure Afternoon ink. And I am going to use my paper piercing mat. I'm feeling a little claustrophobic here. I got too much too close to me and I can't, I need elbow room when I stamp. So here we go. Okay. I'm gonna tap onto my ink pad and stamp happy birthday. Very easy. And then I'm gonna get the little party confetti and tap lightly. The smaller your stamp is, the lighter you should tap. Did you know that? So you can give um, you can give your larger stamps a little bit more pressure, but the light ones, I like to turn this over so the confetti's flowing a different direction on both sides. And there you go. So to dress up this, um, the inside of this card a little bit, I just took the Dazzle paper. I'm gonna be cutting out some fringe with that because I wanna point out a few things. Now, the, the Dazzle, it's called More Dazzle, is rough. Can you hear that? It's rough. So, when you go to cut it out with your paper trimmer, I want to give you some advice. Turn the, the dazzle paper over. See how the backside is smooth? And you just choose the width you want. It really doesn't matter. And you cut on the smooth side there. That will save your blade. It won't um, tear up your blade if you're using it a lot. It saves your blade from getting worn out too, too quickly. So that's tip number one. And then I have another tip when I'm actually using the big boss and cutting out um, the fringe. Okay, so now, look at this, look at this. Too cute, too cute. Um, this is a toilet paper roll and designer series paper with the fringe. So if you don't want to spend any money on a holder for your glue, this is a great one. So I just wanted to point that out and that's going to be sitting on my desk along with my other one because I, you know, I have, um, I have uh, customers here like for open house and we need our, gl our glue to be um, stored upside down. So the glue is at the tip and these holders just make a world of difference for that. Okay, so I'm just putting some of the glue across the more dazzle paper and lining it at the bottom of this card liner. Then I'm gonna take my snips, turn my paper over and snip the excess off. There we go. That just dresses up the card right away, right? Very clever glue holder. I thought so, and it made me happy. This paper, this designer series paper that I used is so happy. Oh my gosh, it's just darling. So I'm gonna take it again, the glue, and we'll be done with the <clears throat> inside of my, our card. I think I have a bottle that's, that's running low. Let me see if this one's running low too. <clears throat> Let's 
Let's get a brand new bottle because I don't want to have to have you guys listening to me pound on the desk all, after, all night. Okay. Isn't that nice when something's fresh and new? It just runs right out for you. Okay. Another thing you might notice, when I put my glue on, I go inside. I leave a space here so when I put my thumbs and my fingers on the card, I don't get them full of glue. We have sticky fingers that can cause problems, right? Okay, and the other reason I like the glue is because if you get a little bit crooked, you can straighten it out. So there we go. All right, now let's do the outside of the card. I have a layer piece of Azure Afternoon. Let me see, right here. And I think I have to cut it down a little bit, yes. Four by five and a quarter, which is the average or the standard layer size for a regular card. And this is what we're going to start to decorate next. Okay, where did I, I just set the card down so you can see. Okay. So I have been showing you embossing. So I am going to emboss these, uh, I don't know what they are, ribbon. Um, I just love a party decorated with these, um, I don't know, I'm just gonna call them ribbons right now. You guys can tell me. I use an empty pill bottle to hold. Oh, very good idea. And I have to dress it up now. <laughs> yeah, dress it up. It's fun to have them dressed up. Okay, so we're gonna go over to our tray. I wanna keep the card there so you can see what I'm doing, but I need space. Okay, so here is the Versamark streamers. Thank you, Debbie. Okay, so here's the Versamark ink that we need for the embossing to emboss with. It's a sticky clear ink that you can use with any color embossing powder. That's why it's clear. So if you use silver, it's fine. You use Bronze is fine, black, it doesn't matter. The Versamark will work with all the colors of powder that you want. So I'm just gonna stamp this down once. Hey, Marie. And because Versamark does not dry really, really quickly, I mean, I wouldn't like, you know, go eat a sandwich or anything, <laughs> but you can, um, Stamp it twice, that's gonna be okay. And then I'm gonna take the lid off of my powder and get my tray ready. And then I'm gonna dump the powder onto both of the streamers. What would I do without Debbie Pine? She's always finding my words for me. Okay, so let's get this back into the little neck of the, t of the tray unscrew it and have all our powder contained and back in our bottle. There's even a brush if any of it gets stuck on the tray, static cling, anything like that. You can brush it into the little hole and get it all back in there. Okay, Sonia. Okay. Trying to give me my good habits, not my bad ones. Just put your lid back on so you don't spill anything. Because this, now that it has the powder on that, there you can just walk away and go eat the sandwich now because that's not going to go any, anywhere. It's going to be ready for you to heat up whenever you want to heat it up. Just don't touch it until it is heated up because it will smear if you touch it when it's not melted yet. So what the heat tool does is it melts the powder onto the Versamark ink. So I'm just going to point at the streamer and see that. I did heat up my tool a little bit before this live started, so it would react very quickly for you. So I always say you should heat up your tool just a minute before you get started so you don't have to wait for it to heat up while you're trying to emboss. Aren't those streamers pretty? I just think they're so pretty. Okay, so 
It looks like I have embossing here, but I don't. It's actually gold paper. There is a stinking cute die. So here's the one that does the, um, does this part here. And then um, here's the one that does all the little confetti. I just thought that was so cute. So I'm gonna show you that. And I already cut out the white. They're right here. But I wanna cut out the champagne for you because there's a little trick to that, I think. So I need to stamp one more balloon. I stamped, there's three of them on the card. I stamped two of them for you already, but I did wanna stamp one and cut it out in front of everybody. Okay, here is my balloon. And there's um, three balloons in this, actually, well, there's a decorative balloon and then there's three different sizes. This is this size here, the middle size. And then the same ink. Tap, tap, tap. I need my paper piercing mat because it's, you should, whenever you're using photopolymer, you should use your paper piercing mat. I didn't on the streamers, and I was lucky that it came out really well. But um, solid, solid stamps like this in photopolymer, you really need your paper piercing mat to get a good image every time. I mean, you can get a good image, but you could not, and then you'll be upset. With the paper piercing mat, you'll always have a good image. See that? Okay. So now I'm gonna get my big boss over here. And we're gonna get the die that coordinates with this balloon. I'm just gonna place it on and tape it down so it doesn't move. See how it leaves a nice white edging around the balloon? Okay, and then I'm gonna take that piece of six by six that I um, trimmed already for the inside of the card, and I'm gonna lay down my die. Now, I told you to cut on your trimmer from the white side, but I'm gonna tell you to put your dies on the bedazzle side. When I put my die on the white side, because I thought that's what I should do, thanks Debbie, um, it didn't cut out all the way. I, ha I had to cut it out in this direction. So I'm gonna tape that down. Get a couple more pieces here. Don't want it to move. And then I've got another little tip for you when using this die. Oops. The tape does not stick really, really good to the bedazzled side. So I might have to put it on the machine. But what I wanna tell you too is, okay, so See all those, the stripes, those those are gonna cut the lines in there. And um, if you don't get this all the way on the end, you're just gonna have the slits. You're not gonna have the fray. So I lay it down and I make sure that I'm seeing a little bit of the lines right here. And then I know it will cut them off like I want. Okay, so let me get my machine here. And then here's my gold paper for the um, little confettis too. Okay, let me get these all out of the way so I can get my big boss over here. So here we go. We need platform one, two, and three. One, two, and acrylic is number three. Then you're gonna place your die down. So I'm gonna go back to the fringe die and look for those little, it's gonna look like dots. I know they're lines, but it's gonna look like dots. I'm hold, squeezing it tight. Ah, I moved it. I'm squeezing it tight because I don't want to move it because my tape is not holding. Okay. 
I think I used the tape one too many times. Okay, so I'm just going to put the second acrylic. The acrylics have um, a, a slant here on both ends. You can get, when you don't want to touch your die because you don't want to move it, you can tuck it in like this on that slant and then just drop down straight and you should be good. Okay, I'm gonna, you hear all that crackling? You thought they were shakers. No, they're not. Okay, I'm not gonna go back just in case that moved. And look at all the fringe. Now see this end? It moved a little bit because the fringe is not loose like it is all the way up here. There's an easy, easy, easy solve to that. I'll do it after I cut out everything else. Let's cut out the little gold. I have a, um, a tip for that too. So we just cut it out. Well, I could put the balloon on here at the same time. Okay. Okay, so here's the balloon. This is pretty basic, so no, no explanation needed there. Here is the confetti. It came right off the gold. But look at all the little tiny confettis where they are. They're on my acrylic. That is cool to me. And let me, I'm going to tell you why. So let me just keep the acrylic here next to my work surface. I'm going to work right off that acrylic. I'm going to let it do the work for me. And move my Big Boss. Now, the real name for a Big Boss is a stamp and cut emboss machine. But that's just what I call it because stamp and cut emboss machine is such a, a lot of words. Okay, so back to this card. Here are our three balloons. Here is the card so you can see what I'm doing. Here is the white fringe, and you can definitely tell the front and the back of the fringe. Okay? And then I cut out this fringe. So we're going to go back to our paper trimmer, and I'm going to cut it off the 6 by 6 sheet leaving a little bit of space for glue. And remember, I'm cutting from the white side so I don't wear out my blade unnecessarily. Okay, so just get in that habit. Now this fringe all worked really well, even though it's hard for you guys to see on camera, there that does it better. But this did not cut because I didn't have it laying on there straight enough. So all you have to do is take your snips, and it's easier to see from this side what is not cut. So it looks like it stopped cutting about right there. So I'm just going to go under the lines and cut off a hair with my snips, and then it's all fringe. And I really like to play with it and get it to stand up and really show off. Now, when I first made this card, I was doing white and then I just wanted more glam. So I decided to use this and I'm glad I did. It's so pretty. So here's how, hi Irene, here's how we attach. We just turn it over and put glue on the thick part here where we cut. And set down the fringe at the end of your card. Here at the bottom. And then you do the same to this one. And you guys are going to get to play with this at open house. Now this one, oh, I put glue all the way to the end and I shouldn't have. This one goes in the middle. And it's longer. The reason I shouldn't have put glue all, all the way across is because now I'm going to have to clean my scissors. Cut that off. And then the third one. 
So when we were at the graduation party today, it was breezy. My nephew lives way out in the country. And then it was chilly. And then it was warm. Oh, my goodness. California weather. Never know what you're going to get. I was in a sundress, but I did have a sweater on. But you just, you know, just never know. So what it reminded me is right now I'm dressed decent and I'm getting warm in here. Okay, so now at this point, I think it's time to, to um, stamp the, I think it's time for a celebration. Okay, so I'm going to get that stamp. And notice I've just used one ink for the whole card. Tap, tap, tap. my piercing mat and stamp. I think it's time for a celebration. So I used this stamp set, like I said at the beginning of this um, live for graduations cards. And if uh, you scroll back on my page, you'll see a reel where I show both cards. And when I saw the girls um, and I gave them their cards, they looked at me you made these for us. I said, well, of course I did. <laughs> of course I did, girls. I don't think I, well, I, I know I have not purchased a card in 28 years. I make, if I'm giving you a card, it is something that I made. Okay, so we're gonna put dimensionals on the back of the balloons. And I'm getting down to another pack that's being used up. So I'm just going to cut the edges here and set that down. Okay, so I'm going to start with the middle balloon. And I'm going to, I can go a little bit higher than this because remember it's the layer piece. So we, it's going to go on the card. So that's, that's okay. Now see how much plainer that balloon is than these balloons because of the confetti. So I'm going to now take these two balloons and stagger them a little bit. And then place this one down wherever you would like. Okay, so now we go to the, um, let's do the confetti now just so I don't lose it. And I was telling Liz, who was at open house, Liz, Liz lives quite a ways away from me, about an hour and 15 minutes away from me, and she comes to open house every chance she gets, bless her heart. And I was telling her that I, a lot of the times, I use two um, uh, take your pick tools. I use the putty end in one hand and the pointy end in another hand in circumstances like this. So let's go to the star and we're going to pick up the star. Well, I need glue for her, silly girl. Okay, so I'm gonna, oh, this is a brand new guy, so I gotta be really light with this. So I'm gonna put three little dots of glue on my balloons, as tiny as I can get them. You guys might have to look hard to see them. Place them where you want. I like to set them, set the glue all at one time and then set my confetti because I'm giving this time to set up and not be so wet. Okay, so I have the star right on this one. That is so tiny that when I put it on the glue, I just have to use the, the, the uh, pointer to get it to stay on there. Hey, Jean, see, did you see that? So we pick it up off the acrylic. Now that's the reason I didn't move it off the acrylic because if you moved it off the acrylic, where are they? They're going to be too hard to see, right? So this is how I do it. And it's, isn't that a song? This is how you do it. Anyway, um, it's so simple. It's so simple this way. So Liz said, really? You use two? I said, I do. I really do. Um, whatever makes things easier for me, 
that's what I do. And yes, she placed an order for two take your pick tools and she's picking them up this, um, at this open house and she's going to be thrilled because it's really, it's really like having more, more hands. Okay. So here we go. Great tip. Oh, I'm so glad. So if you have, if you're a demonstrator and you have multiple take your pick tools because you have customers that use yours, well, use them when you're creating. Just like that. Look how cute that made the balloons. Okay. So then our baker's twine. Here it is. So this has uh, five different colors in it, and Tahitian Tide coordinated with this card the best I thought. So I went to my mini glue dots, and you've seen me do this many times. I'm just gonna take off a piece and put the uh, Baker's Twine onto the mini glue dot. And then I'm just gonna place it on the back there and get it right to the top of the white fringe. Take your ribbon scissors. And that's another thing you need two of. You need one for ribbon and one for paper because if you use the same scissors on, on ribbon that you use on your paper, that it will be, they will be dull and they will ruin your, they'll, they'll just mess up your ribbons every time and you'll be very frustrated. Okay, there we go. And then I just left that plain, I, no bow or anything because we're going to also take um, some more Baker's twine and put them on the balloons. So the mini glue dots are of course bigger than the ends of the baker's twine, but you can roll them up. And when you roll them up, they hide behind everything very well. So here's another one here. Press it down and roll it up. And then stick it down. And then you can make your um, baker's twine different lengths. I just love how that naturally just curves like that. There's one more. Now your mini glue dots are hard to see on the paper. So if you just turn your paper like this, you'll see little shiny circles and that's your mini glue dot. Okay, and then this one. All right. Then I thought I needed to finish those off with, um, now you have to get this kit too. Darn it. <sighs> what are we going to do? You know, it's, it's a fest, it's, it's a festive one. And you know, I, I was looking at my samples of what I've been showing you guys and I've been showing you guys some floral, a lot of florals, a lot of, um, adult, you know, I mean, you know, for older people, for, not for children, not, not cute and fun, more pretty, pretty cards. And so then I thought, you know, let's change it up a little bit and uh, show a card that you can make for a child or a young adult. I mean, this card could be for anybody, even me. I would love getting a card like this on my birthday, but you, you know what I'm saying. Just change it up a little bit. I know that I use white and vanilla a lot. Um, so I was trying to use color more because most people like a lot of color. So one more little bow. And then we'll put those at the top of the um, little streamers that are on the balloons. With mini glue dots again. Okay. So we just have to take this, roll it out and stick these guys on one. I stick the knot right on the mini glue dot. The knot is the, the fattest part of the bow, right? 
and then I just stick them down. When they're all down, then you, and you get your card, I pull that right off the mini glue dot. I felt myself do that. When you get your car, your layer piece onto your card base, you will um, be able to see what you need to trim, or maybe you won't need to trim. All right. How pretty. I think it's so fun. I wish the glue dots were on the other side like they used to be. You know, I've heard that a lot. Um, it hasn't bothered me, but yeah, a lot of people wish that too. Now, what needs to happen to this card to make it even a little bit more fun is to fluff up all those, um, all the fringe. Fluff, fluff, fluff. And I waited to do that because remember I put glue on the tops of all three, so I wanted to give it time to dry before I started fluffing and then possibly move it off. So I just do this and I do it a few times. I uh, went in the house and did some housework or whatever and then I came back out and I fluffed it again until you get it the way you want it to be. I knew I was gonna love this fringe. I know you guys remember me telling you when I pointed this stamp set out. You could either, even grab your scissors. You gotta get under the fringe though. I got under the layer piece and bend that up. It's easier for me with my fingers. And just play with it until you've got it all fluffy and pretty. Now, if you already have um, a glue holder and you don't need to make this one that I showed you, okay, look at there's, oh, yeah, there's three of them here that are not separated. So I'm just gonna snip and there we go. Is that cute? Okay, so if you don't need a glue holder, but you're having a party, same exact thing. The bottom is a, is a circle. And I used um, oh, the two inch circle. And here's another one. So you can just fill this full of candy and close this up and have a party favor. Now look at this, look at this. I know they don't match as far as color goes, but isn't that a cute party favor as well? Now let me tell you, thanks Olive. Let me tell you how to get this to stick here. So you're gonna take your, your liquid glue and you're gonna glue it around here. And then you're gonna take your circle. Now this circle is cardboard. It's from the back of our DSP. Thanks, Florence. Um, so this has got glue on it. So then, now I do this before the fringe is on. I think I did, yeah. And then, so I could see, so I'm gonna do it from the side so you can see. And then I placed this on the circle and pulled it back off. Then I had a circle of glue there, but it's not enough to hold it, especially if you fill it up with things. So then I took the glue again, and because I had a circle of glue there to show me where this was gonna attach, I put a little bit more, and then I set it back, and I just left it alone to dry, and that's how I got that one to stay on there. And now I can, you know, this is pretty heavy. This is a brand new one and it's not coming off. So you can just fill it as, with as much as you want. Now, what is this paper? This paper is the Bright 6x6 Designer Series paper. It has hearts and stripes and dashes and polka dots. Oh my gosh, look at the polka dots. I just love it in different colors. I think it's so darn cute. So I thought I will have to watch replay and see how you made the glue holder. Oh, I didn't really show how, how I made the glue holder. It's basically just wrapping the glue, glue holder with the DSP. And then this, I think this is, each side is two inches ran it through the die 
and then wrapped it around. Everything was put on with glue. Okay, so anyway, I fell in love with that designer series paper when I was playing with it. So I said, if I love it, I know that my friends and my customers are going to love it. So we're going to use it at open house. So just comment and tell me you're coming so I can make you a packet. I'm going to start making the packets tomorrow. And I need to know by Tuesday so I'm not running, you know, crazy trying to get them done before Thursday. So look at this card. Same set that I just used. The um, contour scallop dies. The fringe. The DSP. And the radiating dies. Now, under here, under the radiating die, there is polka dots. You can barely see them because I went against my own. You'll be at open house. Awesome, Jean. Um, I went against my own rule because I didn't think about polka dots first. Um, so, oh no, I did think about polka dots first. So I po I was doing a, a rectangle piece of cardstock and I did the polka dots. And I said, mm, mm, I want those scallops. So then I put the die on there and went through. So it smashed them down a little bit. So... Coming to open house, uh, looking forward to crafting with you. Awesome. Okay, so cut out the die first and then run it through the polka dot folder and you'll really be able to, um, to see the polka dots. Now, I was kind of worried about with the contour uh, scallop dies, I was kind of worried, you know, are polka dots going to be on all this part too? Well, because it cuts out these little holes, you can't, it looks completely smooth. It, the polka dots are only on the inside, and I thought that was really cool. So another thing that's really cool, remember when I cut the fringe and it was as too long and I had to cut it down? I did the same thing here, so I'm going to give you a, when you come, when your packet's going to have a whole piece or two pieces of fringe that are six inches long. Well, that's longer than you need for the layer piece, right? So look what you could do with the excess. It's a present on the inside that's full of fringe as well. Just super darling. I just thought it was super, super cute. So um, if you're coming, you will be making this. And I'm going to try to have everything cut out for you so you don't have a lot of work. You just have a, a lot of fun. All right, ladies, that's what I have for you tonight. I hope you enjoyed yourself while you were here. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you guys. Have a nice night. Have a nice holiday and be safe tomorrow. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Thanks.